I started preparing for it a few months earlier. Um, I worked at that time, so I just like not that much time a day, but every day I looked at a few questions. And um, I used the resources Intax gave me. It was enough, so we, I didn't need more. I looked at the videos, and then when I had completed one topic, then I used the, the sample tests and checked myself if I have to learn more about the topic. Um, I would say start as early as learning as you can. Um, you don't have to learn like the whole day, just maybe half an hour, an hour, look, at every, look through everything, look through the materials, um, get a plan, okay, how much is it, what do I know already, what do I have to learn, maybe make a plan. And um, when you have time at the end, that's good because then you just have to rise and that's better that, or because when you don't do it like earlier, at the end you have like a lot of stress because you have to put everything in your brain, what you didn't get before. The week before the exam, don't just just revise. Don't try to learn new stuff. Maybe just concentrate and revise stuff. And maybe a few questions you couldn't do. And on the day of the exam, don't do anything. The exam was actually pretty good because um, I found it good because the materials that Interhex provided was like really good. Like it was like sufficient, meaning like it had like way too much information so like if I didn't understand a concept I can just like go through like the uh, materials and then it made me understand it better um, yeah but the questions like uh, it, there's this like online portal in the Interhex like um, student uh, website and there they have like uh, questions where you can like practice like questions that came like last year or like the year before I would say like while you're going over content and while you're, or while you're studying things just do practice questions alongside because they quite uh, they're like crucial because they make you think actively while you're studying instead of just like reading content um, and it makes you like it prepares you for like the exam like how the exam is going to feel uh, I would also tell people to start early so they don't have like really like they don't feel like stressed out like near the exam and they would just you know like be calm and just know that um, they studied and hopefully things will come that what they studied like what they studied would come in the test and it would be okay for the day of the exam I would say just like the night before just sleep like a lot like have enough rest and uh, like in the morning like try and just like calm yourself down like if you're feeling nervous or like um, I wouldn't say like go over notes because I feel like that stresses people out, like that would stress me out. I started studying to be honest one and a half months before the exam because I didn't want to stress myself as I did in A level so I was comfortable and everything was good. I did the stuff that Interex provided, the questions, every day for at least one or two hours. I started with the, with the material about each topic and then I did that for like two weeks to have an overview and after that I just stick to the questions. To be honest, I thought it's going to be way harder but if you stick to everything that you guys provided, that Interex provided, all the material and just stick to it and learn like constantly and not last minute, you're going to be completely fine. Basically, you should get everything done with your technic stuff like one day before, make sure you have internet and stuff. I mean, they, uh, the university provided any solutions for if you have any internet problems, so it's going to be fine as well, but just make sure that you have everything prepared and just start the morning with focusing on the exam and that's it, no other factors. I started my application really early, so I had a lot of time. So in the beginning, I went through all the notes, the PowerPoints that you guys uh, gave us. I think just make sure that you're in a quiet environment, that there's not, close your door, you know, let your parents, your family know that you're gonna do an exam. Uh, I use flashcards, I used, I uh, made a lot of notes, but I also had my family like come and review it with me and ask me questions and just used the, um, I also knew people from the WhatsApp group chats. So then we all like went on like a Zoom call and we did that sometimes. 
I think just not cram it all in one day. Take one subject, like focus on that, and then have like, but you have to set goals. Like you cannot just like go with it for a whim and think that you've just, you can master all the material in like two weeks. But I think you should space it out and just like put it one week. At the end of this week, I need to do this many chapters and like that's it. To be honest, I actually stuck to the Interhex material because it was simplified and detailed. So I, yes, I would watch YouTube videos. Um, the organic chemistry tutor is really, really good, but I mainly use the Interhex material. Uh, the only thing that was different is that um, there were a lot of instructions to follow. So I actually printed the instructions and so that I would not panic. So that made everything easier because um, if you actually close the page, you could get terminated. So I think um, the website was a bit more strict and that was a bit hard. But generally, I thought the exam was well, but the English part was a bit difficult because you think I grew up speaking English, but then um, I'll just say don't take English for granted. Each section had 40 minutes allocated to it. And for me, I actually finished the exam in an hour, but I'd really advise um, someone to take as much time as they can. Some people finished in 30 minutes, but if I could do it differently, I would have taken more time. For the entrance exam, I used the materials given by Intex on the platform, and I really tried to like go through the explanations so that I wouldn't just memorize the answers, because if you memorize stuff, you're bound, you're bound to forget some stuff. I attended the lessons that were provided by Intex where a senior student would like explain the questions and the answers. I'd advise them to start preparing very early so that they have ample time to go through their weaknesses and I'd advise them not to memorize the answers but to actually understand the explanations and know why the answer that is given is the actual answer. For me, I prepare the exam personally by reviewing my high school notes going to Intertex uh, exam platform and also going through the notes and all the difficult parts I've been through. So for such a biology and especially in Mendel's law or the whole uh, exchange of uh, genetic information, I had that written down separately in a different paper and had reviewed that more often than other ones. As soon as I knew the most that like, was the whole cycle and the curve cycle, I tried to leave that for last because there is things I remember already. And since I had months to prepare ahead of time, so I just did it like once every two weeks and then more and more frequently as the exam came along. For English especially, I would practice with my family or go to the questions online. Or especially just read, like if you read novels like months ahead of time, so do something with English related things. It would be very beneficial because the students coming here are not from, you know, mostly from an English speaking country. So, like, practice English because that's the most difficult part for you. I went through the questions again and again, used the resources given by Interhex, and they had also arranged lessons with an upper year medical student, and that was really useful. I would say have a ritual before the exam, have a hot chocolate or something to make sure you calm your nerves down. The most useful part of Intex was the online platform, all the educational resources that you guys provided, that was really helpful. Basically, if, you, if, you, if you're thorough with the online resources, the quizzes that you're given in the website, you're, you're done for the exam, you're gonna ace it for sure. And Intex did provide Hamza, an upper year student that helped us with the study sections. Yes, the study sessions were really good. He used to go through each and every question, so that was really helpful. I actually do have a really good tip. So I recommend people when you start studying, like after you make the timetable, you know how much time you're gonna take to finish this on this topic. Uh, the questions that you find hard, that you find tricky or unique in some way, just jot that down. Jot the hard questions down in a few sheets of paper. So you have, you have compiled these questions for over two or three months now. And what you should do before the exam, or an hour or two before the exam, the actual exam, is you should just go through these questions. Because you know, these are the hardest questions that you can find. So in your mind, if you master these hard questions, the easy ones are gonna be very easy. 